Hello, friends, foes, alien plant people from outer space. Hi, how is everyone tonight? <laughs> how are we all doing on this wonderful little Monday? Hey, hi, it's good to see you. What is that emote? <laughs> oh, their hands are on fire and they have a little fire heart. <laughs> Dodo, hi, welcome in. Good to see you both here. Love you guys. How are you? It's wonderful to see you. Boops indeed. You guys are just like so wise and beyond your years. It's incredible. Oh, I forgot my water. Um, give me. <laughs> no! You do that! You can't ban boobs! Why would you do that? Homophobic! I can't believe it. Speaking of homophobic, earlier I was in the living room, I was playing Tears of the Kingdom, and I heard like a small like little clatter from my bedroom. And I'm like, what's, what did the, what did, what did the cats do? I knew it had to have been one of the cats. So I get up and I come into my bedroom and I see Lux, my orange cat, standing on my desk and in the floor below him is my tiny little bi flag that I had in my um, pen holder on my desk. He had knocked my bi flag into the floor. My son is homophobic. Why would you commit such a crime against lesbians? <laughs> He's biphobic. He's phobic to his own mother. I can't believe it. Oh, also, give me one quick second. I forgot my drink. I'll be right back. I have returned with my funny drink. Tonight I am dual wielding drinks. Um, I have my usual trusty handy dandy bottle of water and then joining said bottle of water is the remnants of a blue raspberry slushie from Sonic <laughs> that I had last night. <laughs> Pretty good. Ugh. I... <laughs> I lost track of time earlier i'm not gonna lie um and i kind of was cutting it short making sure i was ready for stream because i was playing tears of the kingdom and i was just lost in the sauce lost in the tears of the kingdom sauce um i just made it to the lightning temple i'm just now starting it and it's really neat <laughs> i like it so far Ugh, this is my last temple too, so I'm like, ooh, I'm excited. I'm excited to see what happens. What? I hope you guys are doing well tonight. How have you been? What are you up to? Got anything fun to share, my friends? While I bring everything up on screen. Uh, Finn, how are you feeling post, um, Trigun Stampede Season 1 ending? <laughs> the day after. Because <laughs> I'm coping by buying a tiny, funny little sticker of the blonde twink. Little sprout. <laughs> Heard and felt on you are feeling very, very sprout, very plant. All right, gonna into it. Ugh. I gotta fix my headphones, they're not sitting properly on my head, where I am comfortable. Okay. Go well, back with the gay squad! Let's get the 
da 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 it called New Year's. I feel like it's gonna end on New Year's or like a little past New Year's because of the whole Y2K thing. So, potential last stream of this, which is exciting and sad because love this game, but also at the same time, I know that I will most likely come back to this at a later date and do a different route. <laughs> ah, finally, time for bed. I stay awake for a while with the usual 20 somethings ex uh, existential dread. Damn. But I eventually fall asleep. Damn. Uh, when do I finally get to sleep in? Back on the- Oh, we're not back on the grind. Oh yeah, that's right! We're doing a little bit of B&E. We're breaking and entering into the corporate office. Because we realized last time that the issue behind every all the weirdness that's going on is the makeup brand that they just put out this, uh, based around the Sentinels. Holy crap. Oh my god. We're actually standing in Anna Lee's office. We made it! AJ, I can't believe you know how to pick uh, pick locks. <laughs> it just takes a little practice and the right tools. I could show you sometime. I'm freaking out. This is like a crime? Are we criminals now? The real crime here is this obnoxious office. It takes up the whole floor. What is it big enough to contain Annalise's ego? Oof. We were unbelievably lucky to sneak in here. One could say almost too lucky. It almost feels like a setup or a trap. I'm just saying. I somehow convinced the security at the front desk that I was here to interview for my promotion from sales assistant to manager at my store's location. They didn't seem especially convinced, but let me through when KJ gave them the stink eye. <laughs> Guard dog partner. Guard dog partner. <laughs> when we reached the middle floors, KJ chatted up some office ladies to figure out when Annalie's lunch break was. They sure know how to put the moves on. Tee -hee. Now we're here in the director's office. This place feels pretty empty. It's kind of intimidating. Rich people taste. Everything's minimal. Oh ho ho, I can afford to take up loads of space and put nothing in it. So, what do we do now? We dug up as much dirt as we can. But where from? There's nothing there. Maybe there's a secret room or something? It's probably all on our computer. Ah, yes. Oh. Not this again. I take it you still haven't learned how to use a computer. Well, um, they keep changing so fast, you know? What's the point in learning if it's all obsolete in a few years? Damn. Remind me, why are you the one in charge again? Damn. Royal bloodline, strong delegation skills, computers are dumb. <laughs> Computers are dumb. <laughs> oh, why aren't they great? <laughs> Look, I know about stuff that's actually important, and computers are, uh, aren't important. Oh no, okay, that's not what I meant to say! Okay, that's not what I meant to say! I their feelings! Oh, they're just for dorks like me who were in the school computer club, huh? Stella, no! That is not at all how I feel! I just meant it in a silly, goofy way. Yeah, kinda, but I can't say that to KJ's face. I mean, they are important, I guess, for, uh, society? But I leave all that stuff to the experts, you know? Computers really aren't that difficult to use these days. You don't even have to type out commands anymore. <laughs> even you can manage it. Hey, what's that supposed to mean? 
your voice down, princess. We don't want to blow our cover because you don't know how to use a mouse. Come on, let's... Mm, uh, blah, blah, blah. Come on, let me wow you with my ability to point at things and click them. We approach Annalise's enormous desk and notice it's covered in glamour pop makeup samples. AJ takes a spin in the luxurious leather office chair. You're fired, and you know, you're also fired. You, get the mayor on the phone. I want to buy the police. Actually, that's probably not too far from the truth. Damn. Oh! <laughs> they put some cute little glasses on. They rummage through their backpack and bring out a pencil case. To my surprise, the case is full of CDs and floppy disks. Back to business, I guess. They start up the computer, and when it asks for a password, they load up a CD labeled Acid Burn. After a few seconds, all kinds of weird stuff starts happening on the screen. I, uh, they didn't teach you this at the school computer lab, did they? What do you think, princess? They're now typing in lots of commands in a black and green screen, or on a black and green screen. No. What you're doing looks super illegal. Yep, just don't ask me where I got this software. I have to kill you. You're really concentrating. I should probably stay quiet and check those makeup samples. This could take a while. I'm in. <laughs> Hacker man! <laughs> I'm in. <laughs> Perfect timing. Wait, what? You're amazing, KJ. I had no idea what just happened, but it's really impressive. That's just some messing around. Anyone can learn it. Hee <laughs> hee. But like, we're inside Annalise's computer now? Yep, she must be one paranoid lady because her system is off the corporate network. Didn't even have to bother with network security. Just a direct, unmonitored line to the outside world. Had I known, we could have done this remotely. Slow down, I don't under I only understand that last part. You're saying we didn't need to break in? In theory, yes, but it took getting all the way to her desk to learn that. Life's little ups and downs. So, what do we do now? Why don't you take a look for yourself? It's one of those new iPhone computers. Very user-friendly. They get up and dramatically gesture towards the chair. I guess now's as good a time as any to learn how to use one of these things. I fumble around the computer for a minute until KJ leans over and guides my hand over to the web browser. Ask gay. If you want to find out somebody's dirty secrets, a great place to start is their web, uh, web browser history. Web? You mean the World Wide Web? Oh god, just listen to me, I sound like an old granny. After this is all over, I'm taking computer classes. Maybe KJ could teach me? On the other hand, I'd probably be way too slow for them. And maybe they teach me illegal stuff. Is there an illegal way to email someone? I don't know. My thoughts are interrupted when KJ moves my hand over to some kind of banking program. Another place people bury their secrets is financial records. Oh, I'm telling you, Avocado Anya is behind it all. <laughs> oh, good grief. Why are they looking at me like that? Was I supposed to say something more intelligent? You're such an airhead. What'll it be, princess? You're up to bat. Um... Financial. Okay, let's hit the books. I click on the banking program and a wall of charts and big numbers fills the screen. Oh wow, that's a lot of money. We both look at the screen in silence for a moment, trying to absorb all the new information. Uh... Yeah, big money. And not much of it seems to be going to that charity foundation she's set up. Wait, she's keeping all the charity money? From the looks of it, she's putting the money into the foundation and then 99% is sent to a mystery account in Switzerland. That's really suspicious. Okay, let's check the internet. With a little help from KJ, I connect to the computer to the internet and then open the web browser. Look at me. I'm surfing the information superhighway. There you go. Now let's look up the history. It takes me a minute to figure out, but I get there eventually. KJ is surprisingly patient with me. Hmm. There's a lot of entries for one website. 
inside Maho? Oh, like Maho sh Shoujo. I click on the last history entry. Inside Maho seems like some kind of magical girl fan site. Look at you go. And from the looks of it, Anna Lee has administrative access. That means she runs the site. She owns all this? Why would she run a website about magical girls? Maybe for the makeup line? Then why all the secrecy? That's what we need to figure out. Why don't you click around and see what you can find? Oh, wow! Free community discussion about present and past magical girls in the scene. Submissions are currently open for new photos or videos of magical girls. Looking for more content of the Sentinels. Questions or complaints can be forwarded to the moderator at Avocado! Com. Avocado. Hey <laughs> <laughs> there. You know how I messaged you after last stream of this and I was like, oh, maybe it's the one, the strawberry one that, like, supposedly died and went missing. No, you were, you were right the whole time. <laughs> it's, it's avocado and anise. Wasn't the original- isn't the original name for- like, jokes aside, isn't the original name, uh, Avocado Anna, or whatever? And her name's Anna Lee. Uh, I did not- I did not connect that until now! <laughs> oh, threads. Anyone else miss the Sentinels? Ara's new single, Debrief. Looking for more fruit fatale pics. Thoughts on Magical Girl today? The site is actually so sad, who cares about this garbage? How to become a magical girl? Would you buy merch for your faves? I've connected the dots! You've connected everything! About Musket Marina and Banana Brie. Strawberry Sayori Memorial. Yeah, that's who I thought it was. Because she was supposedly dead. And that would have been like the perfect cover. Uh, want the secret to becoming a magical girl? Um... looks <laughs> totally not suspicious. Anonymous user, what? This threat has been deleted for violating the rules and guidelines. It's a memorial. Anonymous user, I missed her so bad. A real tragedy. Dan. R.I.P. forever. Anonymous user. It is what it is. It is what it is. Hot avocado. She was perfect. There will never be another magical girl like her. Damn. That's gay. Um, I... Ooh. I wonder if, like, the loss of her is what turned her to, like, being evil like this. Who's underneath me? Is it my cat? It's my cat. He likes to lay on my footstool re in recent times that I have underneath my desk. <laughs> it's his now. <laughs> um, Musket Marina and Banana Break. Midori Field. Uh, Midori Field. I heard rumors they moved in together after Fruit Fatale broke up. On a Caesar, they're obviously related. LOL, probably cousins. And they were cousins. <laughs> they do sweet blue wasabi. What the fuck are you guys on about? Not the magical girl cousins. By merch of your faves. And on a Caesar, thoughts on merch for magical girls? Those. Forgot a T there. Where do you buy it? Do you support it? Is it creepy? Disc? Disc it? Uh, LMAO, you're worried about being creepy while being on this site? Mod. I don't see a problem with it. They're public figures. Anonymous. They're working hard to protect us and some want privacy not to be monetized. Where's the respect? Another anonymous. 
And if they wanted to be respected, they should fight in secret then. That's kind of hard. Um... <laughs> in your dreams. I hear some are aliens from outer space. Give up, buddy. Also, who even needs them right now? Uh, this site is actually so sad. Deleted for violating guidelines. Also, a magical girl today. Wish there was a new group active. Yawn. Something needs to stir things up. A knots on this board are like, need the city to get terrorized ASAP, XD. Um, group eight topics. Oh, uh, why are there so many threads about this group? Seriously, this is the third this month. The mods obsessed. Holy shit, who cares about a dead group? BRB, yeah, no problem, dude. Wow, wonder why the mod is obsessed with Fruit Fatale. And his new single debrief. She's so cute! Banana Oyu? Boring. Think she'll feature the other Sentinels on her next album? I want to see the redhead again. The redhead? Who the fuck? Who, which one's a redhead? Was it KJ a redhead previously? No one's a redhead. I'm confused. Um, and then anyone else sentinels? I do. Bubble Girl's my favorite. Wish she'd come back. Group's overrated. Just listen to Ara. You miss them so much. Um, is you? Should be F F A. <laughs> yeah, there's nothing here. Yeah. Yikes, this is borderline obsessive. Anna Lee always seemed so composed and professional. Who knew she had all this going on? We're all full of surprises, Stella. Except, uh, expect the unexpected. Actually, yeah, that's real appropriate coming from KJ. Okay, this is kind of incriminating stuff. We copy everything to the disc, so we have some evidence. Can we see what else you can find? I get out of the chair and let KJ do their magic. I take a look at the makeup samples on the desk. They're from the Sentinel's line since mentality. Everyone has been obsessed with lately. But that's not really much of a clue, right? Of course she'd have her own products on her desk. Her desk? I rummage through the desk drawers and find some notebooks. I flip through them, hoping to find some kind of clue. A boring financial reports and business strategy. I'm sure someone would find this interesting, but it's not me. I can't believe I'm thinking of uh, this, but I was having more fun on the computer. <laughs> okay, I started the transfer, and now we just sit tight until it's done. What have you found? Sadly, nothing interesting. I was hoping to see top secret evil scheme on, pa on a page, but it's boring business plans up to the end of this year. Wait. Just up to the end of this year? Yeah, I was hoping to see something cool that hasn't been announced yet, but there's nothing here for the year tw uh, 2000. Don't you find that a little odd? That a billion dollar company has no plans for the next year? Not even the day before New Year's Eve? Oh yeah, it's the 30th. Maybe it's, the uh, maybe it's in another notebook? We look around the drawers again, and there's no other notebooks at all. And there were no Y2K plans on the computer either. You're right, there's really- that's really bizarre when you think about it. Even I have plans for next year, and I'm exact- and I'm not the- blah, 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 And I'm not exactly the organized type. Ugh. Still don't have any killer evidence. All we know is Anna Lee has an unhealthy obsession with the fruit, this Fruit Fatale group. She's been putting away the charity funds into a mystery offshore account. She might be keeping a loose schedule for next year. And that's not really going to hold up in court. Fruit Fatale? Why does that sound so familiar? You watched a thing about it on TV with Alistair! Hello? Earth to Princess. Oh, sorry. I was just thinking about something. 
Anyways, none of this evidence will hold up in court as it was obtained legally. AJ, why do you know something like that? It's better if you don't know. Now, if only we had something new or concrete, like... Ooh, I knew this was gonna happen. I knew she was gonna come back and they would still be in here. Where I can blink, KJ pushes me down onto the floor. We huddle under the desk and I try my best not to panic. Well, this is gay. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. I hold my breath. The echo of clicking heels fills the room. <sighs> Those idiots in HR don't know what they're talking about. Constantly grilling me about how bad our retail turnover looks. Selling makeup cannot be that hard. And as far as I've seen, these girls just stayed around all day. Note to self. Investigate automated retail stores. She lets out a long, weary sigh. <sighs> but it won't matter soon. None of it will matter at all. I can hear her heels pacing around the office. My heart is racing out of my chest. I steady my breathing, trying not to think about how totally screwed we are. He'll stop abruptly. Is she looking out the window, maybe? I just need to be patient. The stage is set, and soon the curtain shall rise. New Year's Eve. The dawn of a new millennium. And the dawn of a new world. Everything I've done so far? This tiresome charade. But it'll all be worth it. Note to self. Buy yourself a nice dress for the party. You've earned it. Party? What party? AJ's face suddenly turns white. They start frantically pointing up to the computer. Ooh. They're trying to mouth something, but I don't understand. I crawl over to them to whisper. A disc! A disc is still on the computer! I have to get it back! No, 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 it's way too risky! It's our only evidence against her. We need that disc! I take a deep breath and peek over the desk to see where Emily is standing. She's far enough away that KJ might just make it. Ooh. Oh, it'd be all clear to KJ and they make their move. There goes my steady breathing. Woohoo! I watch Analia as she stares out across the city. I think she might be talking into a small cassette recorder. Once sentimentality releases across the world, Glimmer Pop will dominate the makeup market. Permanently. Everyone will need our product. They'll crave it like water and air. The brand's reputation? The sales? It all skyrocket. I'll have more money and power than I'll know what to do with. Who would dare oppose me when the mere suggestion of reducing supply will send tens of millions of loyal customers into a violent, a violent frenzy? After all, I am merely giving the people what they want. Perhaps I'll give a portion of that charity money back to Aura. She's been such a useful puppet. I'll even invite her to my New Year's Eve celebration. Show her the destruction she's caused. <laughs> Oh god. At those words, KJ fumbles as they slowly retrieve the disc from the computer. They quickly duck back beneath the desk, disc in hand. They come close and whisper again. Wait, Annalise been using Aura? Well, of course she has. Honestly, I suspected Aura and Annalise might have been working together almost this whole time. Now I kind of feel like an asshole. If we get out of this, remind me to be nicer to Aura. Wait, Annalise stopped talking. Oh no, 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 no. She totally hurt us, didn't she? The beat passes, and I hear the sounds of Annalise turning from the window and walking towards the desk. I emote frantically at KJ, but they shrug in return. Only a few seconds to make a decision, what do we do? Uh, <laughs> he, uh, um. I don't think catching her by surprise is gonna do us anything. Um. Sneak around the desk. It's time for some sort of, it's time for some tactical espionage action. I try my best to point around the desk for KJ. They sternly nod. Emily's footsteps are getting louder and louder. It's time to go for it. Quickly crawl out from under the, her desk to the right side as she approaches from the left. She sits down at the desk and starts using her computer. It's probably really obvious someone else was just using it. I don't know much about computers, but I do know they need power. I pull the plug to buy us some time. 
we hear Anna Lee gasp in surprise. She gets up and walks around the left side of the desk to look at the back of the computer. She's crouched inches away from us, looking intensely at the parts and cables. Hold my breath and go right to the elevator. Why did this office have to be so stupidly oversized? There's no way we could make it over there in time. The panic is interrupted by Annalise's voice. I swear these machines are more evil than me. She pulls out her cell phone and dials a number. Matthew, is that you? Wonderful. Yes, I have another problem with the iPhone. Oh, happy birthday, Matthew. Goodness. Christmas, a birthday, and New Year's all in one week. How nice. Well, yes, it is important, so I'd still like a few more minutes of your time, if you please. Since that's so much to ask. I think now's our chance. Agent and I slowly inch out from the desk and creep towards the elevator. Fortunately, Annalise's tense discussion with Matthew appears to have her full attention. We both manage to get in the elevator and breathe a heavy sigh of relief as the doors start to close. Woo! Diddle, you're back in time for us to be escaping from Annalise's office as she has returned from her lunch break. Just in time for Annalise to lock eyes with us. You two. Oh, she's she's got the evil magic, the evil green. She's sparking. I suddenly feel a sickening rise of magical energy permeate in the air as green sparks crackle around her. It's Avocado Alice! She knows. Oh no. And just as she starts to cross the room, the doors slide shut. <laughs> we gotta get out of here. We gotta leg it. She knows where I work. Oh no. <laughs> she knows where I work. I gotta quit. I gotta call in and quit. Fuck, that was way too close. Once we're out of the elevator, we need to make a run for it. I nod with a shaky exhale and wait for the end of our descent. Breaking and exiting escaped corporate life. <laughs> we run to KJ's bike parked across the street and make a quick getaway. KJ takes a long and winding route to the park in case we're being followed. Eventually, we park up and catch our breath. Ooh, excuse me. I feel like my heart is trying to escape through my throat. <coughs> we... We made it. We escaped. Well, you're an interesting day, aren't you? Well, I'm glad you can see the funny side of all this. I think I'm about to have a heart attack. How did I do this kind of thing on a regular basis? I think I took for granted just how much saving the world keeps you in shape. Anyways, we need to get the gang together. A little investigation yielded some answers after all. And if we had to break some rules to get them, or even... Rules? More like laws! But you're right, the Sentinels need to know ASAP. Then we'll figure out our next plan of action. I'll go swing by the Golden Glove for Jackie, and that wood shop Miranda hangs out. Right, and I'll bring Ara after I call off work. Wait, work? Shoot, KJ, Annalise saw me. She recognized me. She remembers what store I work at. Hmm? Sounds like the perfect excuse to quit that crappy gig. Congrats! No more I make a dime for Annalise's dollar. No, not congrats. I'm worried, KJ. This might not just affect my job. But what about Lise? What if what if she threatens her? Uses her against us? I'm sorry, but I think I should go to work to make sure she's okay. Can't be serious. After everything that just happened? It's like wandering right back into the lion's den. KJ looks worried for me, and I feel a bit guilty. I can't just abandon Lee's. Not my work wife. <sighs> I understand. Protecting people is our thing, after all. Listen, I'll grab everyone. But promise me you'll meet us here later, okay? Got it. Thanks, KJ. Now give them a little smooch on the cheek. I run off to work as fast as my feet can carry me. I guess if I'm here, I still have to actually work. Welcome to Glamour Pop! Is he foaming at the mouth? And he are you looking for a sentimentality line? Better give him what he's here looking for. Oh, oh, it's all every answer is just sentimentality now. Wow. Um 
have the glitter compact. This is their special glitter compact. It's just a sample now, though. Glitter. Took it right out of my hands. Oh, gonna eat it. I chomp. He ate it? It's like Stardew Valley when you give Abigail gems and she fucking eats them. What went about as well as it could have gone, all things considered. Lee spent half the day hooting at people to try and get them to stop taking samples. But that didn't stop most of them. They are rabid for it. And once work is over, we rush over to meet the others. It's our old classroom again. Eiji and I agreed that this would be the most discreet location. When I slide open the doors to Route 3A, I see the whole crew gathered up and looking serious. Eiji is standing near the blackboard, clearly mid-explanation. I breathe a sigh of relief when they uh, lock eyes with me. Bella! Glad to see you've made it back in one piece. Seriously, I'm glad you're okay. The rest of us took off some time today. You're crazy for going into your sh You're crazy for going into your shift. Sorry, sorry, everyone, but I didn't mean to worry you all. But it's important for me to see what's going on at the store. Our customers have changed. The makeup is really affecting them. Half of them are like zombies, and the other half are like hippos treating the makeup like it's water. And you do not want to get between a hippo and the water. And that's not the only problem. I'm sure KJ filled you all in, but Annalise... Annalise saw us. Well, she definitely saw me. And she definitely remembers your store location. You and Lee just made an impression on her. Right? Needless to say, I'm expecting repercussions for that any minute now. Marina looks uneasy. Is she worried about Lee's? Ooh. Hold on, I need to backtrack. Still up, before you got here, KJ was made an explanation about everything you learned. Annalie runs a gossip mill about magical girls on the World Wide Web. She's embezzling charity funds. KJ waves uh, around a CD. I'll copy Dunda here, in case anybody would like to review in the computer lab. And then, you ran into Annalie herself? Right, we hid from her for a while. Gosh, I'd lost years off my life from that. Anyways, this is the important part. Annalie is fully aware of what's happening with the makeup. In fact, we're all but certain she's the cause of this. She's trying to drive up Glamour Pop sales, trying to create a customer dependency. All the side effects? These weird cravings to put on makeup? Our magic fading away? Our energy levels and our enthusiasm to get through our ordinary lives. It's all caused by Annalie. My sentimentality. Aww. So, does that mean she has powers, then? Most likely. We weren't able to clarify the specifics, though. Ara, is there anything that you noticed when you were working with her? Sorry, no. Nothing off the top of my head, at least. Our relationship is purely business. Ara ducks her head. She looks like she's about to burst into tears. And I want you all to know. I'm sorry. Ara. I... I don't know how to express this, but I really thought I was doing something good. She told me this was for charity. That a makeup line based on us would be fun and refreshing for our audience. I know my actions don't look so great that I might even look like an accomplice to this, but... Hold it, Bo Young. I know you're not an accomplice to this. Nobody here thinks that. Jackie, Miranda, and Lee's not along. I've been harsh on you in the past, and... Honestly, I think a lot of it is still justified. But that doesn't change that deep down. I know you're not a bad person. Hey, Jay. Don't look so down, Lieutenant. I'm not, uh, I'm not about being a magical girl anymore, but we're still a team. So, an Ara all I'm hoping is maybe at the end of this we can start being a little more forthcoming with one another. I know I'd like to. Right. Please has her camcorder out. Are you filming right now? It was just a, such a beautiful moment. I had to capture as the official Sentinels documentarian. So what now? Trust me, it's easier if you just let her do it. Alright. That's a point for emotional vulnerability. 
I've seen this group struggle with authenticity from day one. Trust me, it's a hurdle for me too. But everything's a process. It's something we have to train ourselves to be aware of. Jackie's grown surprisingly wise over the years. It must be all that teaching she's doing. Aww. Farah's eyes finally well over. She bursts into tears. Ara, Thank you all. I know we have our differences, but what I really wanted is... Is... I just wanted to be friends again. The room is silent for a beat, as everyone looks stunned over Ara's confession. Hmm. But... I didn't mean to hit the space bar. You've been our friend the entire time, as far as I'm concerned. And we can be better friends now. <laughs> Please. Wow, this is gold. You all are a big step up from pigeon actors. Except Wingsworth. Mm, you guys. This is real cute. Ara looks at KJ expectantly. KJ clears their throat. Uh, yeah. We can be friends. So long as we work on accepting each other's different viewpoints. Yada yada. KJ looks a little flustered. I think they've used up their capacity for sappiness for the night. Ara nods. I hear you, KJ. I'll continue to hear you out on anything else, too. And Lee's? Sorry, I'll stop filming. My table's almost filled up anyway. No, James Cameron. We mean you're our friend, too. <laughs> James Cameron. What? But I just got here, and I'm not a magical girl. None of that matters. You're here, with, uh, you're here for us, and we're here for you. I know I'd be honored to be your friend, Lee's. And I think you know where- and I think you know where I stand on the matter. You're all so nice. I'm just going to not cry over here. Finally, it's starting to feel like the Sentinels are back in the game. I'm touched, but... What were we talking about again? The- the evil. The evil plan. Yeah, there you go. Right, the evil plan. Huh? Oh. Sorry, I think I got us off the rails. Always a drama queen, this one. Ara punches KJ in the arm, but it's playful. Stella, about the makeup. I remember correctly, isn't it scheduled to drop on New Year's? Ooh, yeah. Uh, earlier, actually, New Year's Eve, which is tomorrow. It's all on the CD, although Anna Lee verbally confirmed it, too. Something about the dawn of a new millennium. Something tells me I wouldn't like her millennium very much. Old, beautiful... Terrifying. Ara suddenly gasped. My gosh, I had almost forgotten. I was so wrapped up in my feelings about being seen as a potential accomplice. And Aaliyah actually called me herself a few hours prior. And they got a company-wide New Year's Eve party at the Glimmer Pop headquarters. I think she said it was on the rooftop. It was weird that she didn't have an assistant call instead, but... Maybe it's not company-wide. It's a party for you two. I forgot. I forgot about that. She mentioned that in the office. She had some fucked up sadistic line about wanting to make you watch the destruction. God, Anna Lee. She made it clear to me that she was just expecting big time sales on New Year's Eve. Right, all the retail locations have stockpiled a bunch of it for release. We have enough to supply the whole Eastern Seaboard. I think she even mentioned selling it on Glimmerpop's web uh, webpage. Online shopping is the future, she said. I didn't think a corporate celebration for all that would be so suspicious. But come to think of it, I don't know anybody else on their marketing team who said anything about a party. Is it really just going to be her up there, alone? Well, I at least we know where to find her. Oh, that's gonna be where we show down with her, I guess. So, what do we do? We only have so much time left. And, frank and frankly, this sounds like a massive operation. I don't even know if we have the capacity to stop the sales of this market, this makeup line, with only one day left. But we have to figure something out. Group goes silent, and turns their focus towards me. Well, any ideas, princess? 
you've always led the charge for us. I... Kate is right. I have always led the Sentinels. Led them into dangerous, uh, dangerous situations. Totally head first. Sometimes without a concrete plan. And while there's plenty of fond memories, there's scary ones too. I know it took a toll on my teammates. A toll on me too. To be honest, I don't want to pick the plan for us. At least not right now. I know we're on a tight, uh, a tight time constraint, but thinking back on past experiences, I'd like us to carefully consider our options before deciding on anything. I want everybody to seriously consider whether or not they're okay to take this on. I look at KJ specifically. Randa too. I know some of us are trying to move on from magical girl life. I want you to know, I respect that entirely. A flash of sadness crosses Ara's face, but she nods along. So please, let's sleep on it at least. I appreciate that, Stella. Kaja doesn't say anything, but I can tell they're carefully considering what I've said. These gives me an empathetic thumbs up. <laughs> I'll wreck my brain for a solution. You're not alone in this. Sounds good to me. I do my best thinking during morning runs anyways. I'll think on it too. I'll come up with a strategy that'll blow Stella's out of the water. Katie and Miranda echo their approvals to meet the following night. Then it's decided. Tomorrow, we'll figure this out. As sentinels scatter out of the classroom, I'm left with a tremendous sense of relief. Of course, everything about the makeup line and ALE worries me. Out of hundreds, you know, thousands of innocent people being subjected to the ill effects of sentimentality utterly horrifies me. But for the first time in a long time, I get the feeling like I'm not alone anymore. <sighs> I exhale and I make my way home to Alistair. How's your little buddy doing? I miss when he could talk. Finally, time for bed. I stay up way too late reading one of my favorite shoujo manga. It ended on such a cliffhanger, I couldn't stop. It's the dirty first. It's New Year's Eve morning. It always seems quiet the morning before a fight. For now, I should check in on people in the store and make sure it's okay. Perhaps do a little recon on what we might be facing later on. I'll walk up to the store and... Or I walk up to the store and... Oh, it's on fire! It's on fire! This is fine. <laughs> this is fine. Oh my god. Like engulfed in flames on fire. The windows are smashed open and through the flames I can see makeup scattered all over the floor. The stacks of samples we had for sentimentality are all gone. Does Anna Lee even realize how far she's taken this? The customers are so crazed by the makeup. They're arsonists now. I think I should make a tactical retreat. Quickly. Very quickly. I'll spend the rest of the day preparing. Night will decide everything. Good lord, yeah. Jesus. I walk briskly to our meeting place. Cove Park, 8pm, as promised. Alistair was left at home, even though he usually advises us before a battle. He can't talk anyways. And frankly, I'm worried about taking him outside after what I saw at the store. He's just a little guy. We can't let him get hurt. I spot KJ's motorbike first, parked by the cars, and then I see the crew gathered around the waterfront. Ooh, sorry, I had to stretch. Everyone looks worried. When we last left off, I thought we were in a good place, but... Hey, I'm here! I wave and try to flash a reassuring smile to the group, but nobody reciprocates. At least it seems the group has put some real thought into our dilemma. Um... Try to be encouraging, say something serious. Serious. This is a momentous day for the Sentinels once more. A few stairs. Um, thanks everyone for coming. 
Stella, how are you feeling? Awful. I haven't used the makeup, obviously, but work. I mean, the Glamour Pop store. It's on fire. Literally. These shivers at the thought of it. I remember her story about the forest fire, and I'm glad she didn't bother to come into work today. Damn. But good news. A healthy separation period from the makeup has caused my powers to come back. Ooh! You're definitely not at full capacity, but it's something. And I was hoping it's like this for me, everyone else should be in a better state too. The group of sense. Once more. Or what? How, how did I? <laughs> the group of sense. One by one. Jackie's flames are burning brighter. Ooh, she has fire. Ara's songs are potent again. Miranda's bursts of stardust are bright and lively. AJ's bubbles are properly bubbly. And Lee's came around, uh, came armed with a camcorder, apparently. And <laughs> this, that her, com uh, her compliments to us were making our powers work better. Once everyone gets settled, I ask around for their thoughts on how to approach our battle tonight. Ara raises her hand first, looking. Oh, a bug! Ara raises her hand first, looking determined. I see we destroy her, straight up. She betrayed me, she betrayed us. We collectively glock at her. Why are you all looking at me like that? That's the only realistic option here. I called dibs on the final blow. Damn, I was hoping for that one. But I guess you're well within your rights. Hold on, what do you mean destroy her? Like, kill her? Uh, I mean... Seriously, Boy Young. I never said kill. Just render her completely incapable of doing anything like ever again like this. Anyways, what does the rest of the group think? Miranda raises her hand, looking serious. Honestly, I don't see any way around it. We have to fight her. It's all I've ever done when we've confronted villains. Magic wasn't always a positive force in my life, but it's within me. Part of me. I don't want to be a magic girl anymore, but I won't walk away from our last fight. Our last fight. I agree, Miranda. Jackie raises a fist to the air. Annalise caused too much trouble for the world already. We should follow our tried and true path. I'd say we fight her head on. I see no reason for us to hold back. Even if she is quite beautiful. <laughs> oh, Jackie. Jackie! She was totally playing you at the makeup store. Don't fall for it. So, she's evil and gorgeous. What a mood, Jackie. I can change her. <laughs> oh no. I can not the I can fix her mindset. Jackie gives us a grin. Maybe she's trying to lighten the mood. <laughs> okay, jokes aside, things have gotten seriously out of hand, and the longer we wait around, the more people could be hurt. Only a matter of time before someone like Lila gets caught up in this. That's why I think the direct route is best. That being said, I might not mind roughing her up to get her to stop, but any further than that, and I would be setting a miserable example for Lila as my, her mentor. Let's talk her down after we stop her. For all we know, she might be messed up from her own powers, right? We don't know. Oh. Oh, okay, there. The game had a moment. Hear me out. What if we let everyday people handle her? I know you haven't been here long, these, but we'd know what we're doing. Maybe that's the part of the problem. Maybe that's the... Blah, 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 blah. Oh no, I read that right. Maybe that's part of the problem. You always make the decisions, but regular people take the hit. I have the perfect plan. No murder is involved. I'm willing, I'm willing to hear this. First, we lure out Anna Lee and all get her talking. I record her confession. This isn't sounding too bad. Then I release my pigeon actors. Wingsworth will poop directly in her hair. His aim is true. She'll be devastated and distracted. I take that back. We run away, and I put the footage on the web. People won't stand for her manipulation and toxic makeup. They'll ban her company and bring her to justice. I'm all for exposing her, but I don't think we can avoid a fight if we confront her. 
But a fight could mean casualties. If we don't try to stop her right away, we could be risking more lives. Uh... I wonder if this matters. I wonder if this is like a choice that'll matter? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> Doodle, is it a vote for violence? <laughs> Is that you voting for violence, Doodle? <laughs> it's a I refuse to give in foot. How dare you? Uh, blah, 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 blah. I wonder if there are multiple endings in the sense of, like, what you do to bring down Annalie. I know there are in the sense of... Oh, your heart. Oh, God. I know there are multiple endings in the sense of, um... Different romantic routes. But... But, 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 but... Na 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 Boom! Um... I'm usually one for like a pacifist kind of means of resolving things and being like let's talk it out let's be nice no one has to get hurt but also at the same time I'm like mm. we don't have to kill her but you know we could we could punch her we could knock her the fuck out <laughs> think violence may be necessary I'm just going with it we've never backed away from a fight before we should be ready that's what I'm saying that's what I'm saying probably better read it's not exactly what you said though Look, all I'm saying is that there are alternative routes to winning. We have to fight! This isn't about what any of us want. This is about saving the world. If my honorable death helps save the lives of other people, I'll do it. But if I go, Stella, promise you'll take care of Wingsworth. He eats organic grains and he hates blueberries. If you get him one, he'll try to peck your eyes out. Please, it's okay. No one is going to die. Except the. <laughs> Except that Biatch and Lee. <laughs> Nobody said no killing. If it happens, it happens. There's so much on the line. And it's not like it's ever. Uh, it's never happened in a magical conflict before. I don't want to kill her. I'm just saying we should probably rough her up. Oh god, I can see KJ's face turning beat red. Oh no! Did I like flub up? I hope it doesn't affect anything with me and KJ. I hope this doesn't affect anything with me and KJ. Absolutely not. What the hell is wrong with you all? Fuck, I can't believe this. And we fancied ourselves protectors of justice? Now the sentinels, all grown up, are discussing the ethics of what's essentially a premeditated, aggravated assault. But it's okay if it's a magical conflict, right? I didn't mean to tap like that. And yeah, Annalise a total harpy. So it's okay if we happen to kill her in the process. That's not what I'm saying! I'm just saying, like... We probably need to force her to back down. <laughs> Hi everyone, I am going to look something up really quick. <laughs> mm, give me.
me one moment. <laughs> I'm gonna look up if I've just missed things up with KJ. Because I'll cry if I did. Oh, give me one second. I'm trying to find a thing that would potentially show me. Give me one second. Hold. We're holding. Hold. Hold the line. Holding, please. Okay, it doesn't seem like we've messed anything up. It doesn't seem like this is a, um... <laughs> it does not seem like this is a, like, make or break for anything involving, like, romantic routes. So, I think we're good. I just think this is a very, like, an ultimate point, you know? Ah, just listen to yourselves. At least we have the excuse of being naive teenagers when we beat the shadow of our enemies in the past, but now... Now the majority of the Sentinels camp together a plan to solve a conflict without ab uh, abject violence? That's sad. Really fucking sad. Everyone else is looking away with a guilty expression on their face. <laughs> hey, is right. If we- if you go on- blah 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 blah. I can't read. Uh, KJ is right. If you go in willing to kill, then you will. But it may not be Anna Lee you hit with that final blow, and your anger can wreak devastation far beyond the battlefield. One blast too big, and someone's home is engulfed too. It's hard, but you can take another path. Perhaps you must disarm her first, and then spare her and give her to the people? She should face a jury of her peers, not a magical execution on her. Listen, that's what I'm saying. I'm saying that we... I wasn't meaning like violence isn't murder. Come on, please. You always gotta rough them up before they back down proper. Or even that, we should talk to her. She's a human being too. A magical one who may be feeling alone. Can't we all relate to that? If we don't try to at least talk her down at first, then I don't know who we are anymore. Talking first can put everyone in danger. We can't give her an opening. Stella, surely you can't be okay with this. Like, this means, like, honestly, I see your point as in we're, we're talking to KJ, right? That's how I'm reading that, right? I, are we... This is, like, us saying, like, I see your point to KJ? Not, I see your point to murder. I'm so paranoid right now. <laughs> oh, you do? So you agree with KJ that the Sentinels are just a bunch of irresponsible, violent, uh, blah, 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 violent vigilantes? We're no better than the villains we're defeating, then? I, I never saw us like that. No, I don't think that's what KJ was trying to say. Oh, Ara's patience has clearly run its course, and she stands up from the park bench to get in KJ's face. Is that really how you see us, KJ, after everything we've been through? I also don't agree. It's never been about hurting our enemies for me, it's about protecting others. Jackie is trying to put some distance between Ara and KJ, but I can tell she's on Ara's side. Meanwhile, Miranda flounders by KJ, clearly wanting to speak up, but looking defeated. Miranda, say what's on your mind. Everybody listen. No one hears Lee's. Miranda attempts to interject as Ara and KJ continue to argue. I think that she's drowned out by the others, then yells. Why won't you ever listen to me? Oh god. Oh god, this is a hot mess. <laughs> How did this happen to me? I made a mistake. Fuck. 
Oh. Please? Please don't fight. Come on, everyone. It doesn't matter what I say. Nobody can hear me. My voice isn't heard over the arguing. Fuck. This meeting is completely falling apart. I shouldn't... I should have come up with a plan by myself. And instructed the team accordingly. Same as always. I guess it's in character for me, too. Come up with a shitty idea and my teammates suffer the consequences. What are we going to do now? We fragmented again, and this time I'm not sure if I can put us back together anymore. Put my hands over my ears and close my eyes. It's getting hard to breathe. Oh god, she's having a panic attack. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I I think I'm having a panic attack. You stole that from the Skate the Infinity uh, dub! They stole that line from the Skate the Infinity dub. Hey, uh, bitches, bros, and non binary hoes. What? Oh, so I forgot Solaire's the, this motherfucker. I thought she was having a flashback because, um, the Jackie's was like. Soul. That's what it is, soul. How are you all doing on this fine evening, this motherfucker? I open my eyes to see my teammates, completely stunned. Solaire Blaze is standing right in front of us, doing his stupid pose, with his stupid little sunglasses on. Because he always managed to appear at the worst possible moment. Wow, Aura. It looks to me like you're cuddling up to KJ over there. I'm feeling the love. Got room for one more? You're gross. I hate you. Solaire Blaze opens his arms wide to Ara. Come on, Ara. Where's my hug at? We're literally fighting right now. Can you not? Damn, I knew I was popular with this. You don't have to fight over me, girls. Solaire's Blaze is red hot, scorching and fiery. I have enough heat to warm all of your cold hearts up. Owl <laughs> noises. Ooh, ow. <laughs> yeah? You like the sound of that? Panicked owl noises. Ooh, ooh. <laughs> I don't think I've met someone as beautiful and freaky as you before. I'm Solaire Blaze. Can I call you by my hoot hoot hottie? Blaze looks at everyone panic and hoots even louder. Miranda comes between the two, placing her arm over these protectively. Miranda says, get off my woman. Hey, woodworking girl. I can't wait until you work on my- Whoa there! They're gay, Solaire! Get out of here! You nasty man! Punch him. If there was ever a better time to punch him- if there was ever a time to punch him, it would be now. This is the perfect time. Nasty. Hey, loser. I can't wait until you learn how to read the room. I'm talking to my ho ho hottie right now. So if you could... Raina cracks her knuckles. Katie follows suit. Then Jackie puts them all to shame with the knuckle crack so gnarly that I felt it in my own bones. Ollies. Ooh. Lise looks at Miranda with admiration. Solaire Blaze looks around hesitantly, not making eye contact with anyone. So. Solaire turns to me for some godforsaken reason. Stella, you're looking uh, very pale. It's called a panic attack, sweetie. Look it up. But in a beautiful way, of course. Your light shimmers like the moon. And I'll be your fiery hot sun. Stop right there. For one, her motif is starlight, not moon. And for two, I'm the one who should be her son. That's gay, Jackie. Jackie, no need to be so tight. We can warm her up to get... Can you, like, shut up, actually? Everyone turns to Solaire and empathetically agrees with Ara. This man reminds me of a mockingbird who watches too much TV. He says so many words, but I don't know if he knows what they mean. Also, lots of squawking. So much. Is he always like this? 
Everyone grumbles that, yes, he is always like this. <laughs> See? I knew you guys could all work together. You're all united in trying to shut me down. I've always believed in you girls, gays and days. The Sentinels have always stuck together, no matter what foul adversary hit us. Us? There is no us. You're not a part of us. Uh, there is no us. You were never a part of this. Solera completely ignores KJ and keeps going. You're all stronger than ever before this. You're all stronger than ever before this. This? Whatever this uggo you're trying to defeat is, it's not going to phase us. Yeah, we already knew that. Honestly, you didn't have to say that. But I mean it. After high school, I've drifted away from you all. My dudes and the true meaning of the cards. Problem, uh, the people who used to put up with me don't anymore. And I try to not let that change me, but it's been hard. A challenge harder than any enemy I've ever faced. I bet it has... Oh, okay, I was confused by that there for a second. I bet it has for all you, too. As you grow up, you see so much more of the pain in the world. It's no longer just good and evil, it's morally gray. You may not know how this fight is going to turn out, but I guarantee you that your chances are better together and united. Everyone's jaw- oh, pfft, sorry. Everyone's jaws are on the floor. Is that still Solaire Blaze? He's being a little- It's called character growth, I guess, in a, the very slightest of way. But I'm not being fair, am I? I remember that teen boy I met. Ambitious, charming, newly discovered his card powers and wanting us- uh, wanting to use them for good. And his hair? I mean, what girl wouldn't have had a bit of a crush? Uh, me, I wouldn't have! I would not have! Don't judge me. I'm judging you, Stella. And I'm judging Ara too, because if I remember correctly, the two of them also had a thing. We've all changed, and so is he. It's nice. To see that boy filled with goodness and wonder in his heart is still there and some is still in there somewhere. Oh god. <laughs> Buried. Very, very deep. Beneath the sunglasses. Actually, doesn't he have a point? We were just arguing and getting nowhere. We should be ashamed at how our teamwork has just deteriorated. Oh god, that makes me feel gross. Yeah, that's not us. We're better than that. This teamwork muscle hasn't been worked in a while, but it's there. We have it. You mean I actually said something good? Don't let it get to your head. Wow, this feeling is... This is great! What else can I do to help? Er, what? The enemy is... The evil is... I'm still trying to catch my breath. Solaire has no idea what we're even up against, but he's trying to help anyway. Just tell me what to do. Solaire, do you know the makeup store Glimmer Pop? It's a major chain around Diamond Cove. Surely you've seen it. Yes, ma'am, I know it. Lots of beautiful ladies walking in and out. Don't call me ma'am. Long story short, there is a makeup line that's based on us. It's labeled sentimentality. Our enemy made makeup. Makeup is evil. Evil must be destroyed. Right, right, I follow. There's a lot of makeup inventory in a lot of the stores that needs to disappear before people can get more. You up for a little breaking and entering? Entering is one of my fa- <laughs> Stop. You were doing so well. You're right. I can do this. I can stop the makeup sales while you tackle the enemy. Teamwork, everyone! With a flick of his wrist, Solaire draws a card out of his pocket and holds it up into the air. He's still gonna do it, though. Do what? Feel the blaze, baby! See ya. Goodbye! And with a poof and an explosion of fire, he's gone. Yeah, he did it. Oh, that's uh, eccentric. The team was quiet for a moment. Eyes glued to the spot where Solaire stood seconds ago. Oddly, I'm starting to feel a little better. I'm shocked I'm about to say this, but I think we can count on Solaire to help with stopping the makeup from being distributed further. 
At least we're getting some help on the front. Now we just have to decide what to do with it about Anna Lee. Stella, I know it's hard, but we need our leader. You've heard how each of us want to handle this. We can't do everyone's plan. One has to be chosen, and the person is to choose is you. <sighs> yeah, even I can agree to that, if only to make sure we do something. I'll follow your lead. I might not respect your decision. We'll follow your lead here. We trust you. I'll be here to support you all and do my part, no matter what. I won't let you down. You can count on us regular folks as well. Are you actually about to make me choose what we're gonna do to the big bad? The weight of my responsibility is returning, but so is the warm feeling of their trust. It's, it's been them. Sorry, I got confused by that for a moment. It's been them, my friends, beside me that have been my true power. It was the power of friendship. It was the friends we made along the way. There may be no perfect way to solve this, but we won't back down and let Annalie continue her plan. It's up to me to lead and protect them as best I can. Thank you, everyone. Whatever I choose, I want you to know that I love and respect you all, even if we disagree. Your trust means the world to me. I'm ready to lead you. I'm starting to feel better. But there's still the fight ahead of us. We only have an hour until midnight now. Everyone, take a moment to prepare themselves. The group takes a breather. Gaze out towards the waterfront. I really want to talk to someone I've grown close to in the past couple of days. I want to... Ooh. We're going to talk to KJ! I want to hear more about their plans. Well, no. What I really want to talk about is us. I only have time to speak to one person. The choice is important. My last chance to talk to someone before we face Emily. I'm just running out. <laughs> I go back to my apartment and have a chat with my cat who can't talk anymore. <laughs> Imagine. <laughs> Imagine I'm like, mm, KJ, I gotta go talk to Alistair real quick. Be right back. <laughs> oh, KJ. It's good to know that we're locked into the KJ route. Love that. Out of everyone, I want to make sure KJ is up to the challenge ahead. Hey, um, KJ? Do you have a minute? What is it? Another ethics debate? No, I just wanted to spend some more time with you. Tonight's gonna to be pretty eventful after all. I get the sense you need some decompression time. Yeah, I'm kind of stressed out to be honest. Maybe you'll be able to understand the cat again since you're not using makeup. <gasps> Ooh! <coughs> Maybe. That's a good point, Doodle. I hope he shows up for the final fight. That'd be fun. It'll be just... What if he shows up for the final fight? It helps us fight the big bad. Just like in, um, fucking... Um... Uh, 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 Hi-Fi Rush. <laughs> hmm. Maybe let's walk around the lake. Have another heart to heart? <laughs> that sounds good. Let's go. We go for a walk, taking our time. It's a minute or two of silence as we look up at the stars together. Ask gay. What's on your mind? Oh, nothing. Just the potential collapse of society. Maybe my friend's dying tonight. Making rent now that Glamour Pop is gone. Just the usual starlight things. Yeah. It's kind of wild what we mentally endure when we step back and look at it, you know? Anyway, what were you thinking about? Mm, something a little less serious. I was wondering if Boy Young would want to start a new metal band with me. That would be so cute if the two of them started a little metal band! That's adorable. I think the screaming would be a good outlet for her anger. That would be so cute. Get her away from the fussy suits and the merchandising deals and make some real music together. Oh, imagine- they would blow up, I feel like. Imagine ex-pop idol, now turned metal lead singer. Although I should rewind to what led to that. I'm still angry at her for essentially saying it's okay to murder if the good guys do it. 
then I was thinking about how we've all been psychologically manipulated by evil makeup and it kind of put some stuff into perspective. Boy, Young has been wearing that stuff for weeks. I can only imagine what's what that's done to her. Yeah, that's a good point. She's been wearing it way before the rest of us. I wonder if she's still thinking clearly. She's trying to rebuild that bridge, you know? But she doesn't make it easy. And um, the makeup also explains some of my recent behavior, too. I only wore it once, but I put a lot on, and that stuff... I only wore it once, but I put on a lot of it for that... Uh, gee, why? <laughs> why is my brain struggling? I only wore it once, but I put on a lot of that stuff for that gig. Yes, I really am a rock star now. I performed on stage while tripping balls on psychoactive substances. Wait, and I drove you home on my motorbike. It was so dangerous. Yes, but nobody got hurt. But then I was in your room and came on to you and uh, I'm so sorry. We can talk about it after we save the world from Italy, okay? Yeah, that's probably for the best. I think for the first time in my life, I'm actually happy my powers are only good for protecting people and that can't do much damage. I still haven't made up my mind about keeping my powers up for tonight. But I do know I want to be on that rooftop. Especially if we have a homicidal pop star on our team. <laughs> yeah. I know I don't call the shots, Stella, but I really hope we can find some other way to stop Anna Lee. I'm willing to absorb the damage while you figure something out. At least try to talk her down. Use force only as a last resort. But if it does come to that, I'll protect you, princess. Like I've always wanted. The team. I'll protect the team as always. I mean. <laughs> you know I'm going to flirt. <laughs> it's okay, KJ. I know you'll be there when I need to dramatically fall into your arms. Maybe I'll even do it on purpose. Oh, you don't say. I'll be sure to stay close to you then. Hehe. <laughs> I'd like that. For real? I'm not wearing any makeup today, are you? No? Oh shit, this is actually happening. But maybe let's put this aside until it's over. I can leap into your arms some other time. Uh, yeah, okay. Well, what do you look at that? Now I'm the smooth talker. <laughs> that was cute. And with that, we finish our lap of the park and arrive back where the others are waiting. Ooh, we're getting to spooky to ooky ooky music now. Ooh. All right. We climb the stairway of Glimmer Pop's headquarters up to the rooftop level. As we predicted, there is no sign of any New Year's Eve party like Anna Lee had told Ara. Even security had been sent home, so KJ had to fix some more locks. Eventually, we reach the top and push open the door to find... Yeah? In the distance, I see a dark figure standing by the edge. I turn around after the stairway door slams closed. Shit, that's definitely... Oh, you came, Aura. Annalie, you fucking... <laughs> Quite rude of you to be... Uh, bringing so many unannounced guests. I would have appreciated a call, at least. No matter. The more the merrier. Tonight's a cause for celebration. Annalie, cut the crap. We're here to put a stop to this, once and for all. Oh, really? I'm a little too late for that. Sentimentality has already made its mark. The residents of Diamond Cove have already fallen hook, line, and sinker. And when the clock strikes midnight, it'll be released to the world via the internet. Our retail stores and warehouses are chock full of the stuff. And instead of handling that, you've chosen to confront me. It's called cutting off the head of the snake. Except snakes are adorable. You're pretty darn cute, but very darn evil. 
These these bitches are so gay. Oh my, a new member of the squad. Oh, the little girl who cannot even put her rouge on correctly. Don't you be mean to my work wife. You wanna give me a taste of your magic? Just rub that lipstick all over your face again. I don't need magic to help take you down. You think you can make all humans make up obsessed zombies? Think again. Emily burrs out in a cruel laughter. What a recruit! Incompetent and without any magic to boot. Flirts with the enemy. <laughs> you want to stop your evil scheme now? <laughs> it goes to show you really are a bunch of washed up husbands. Better than being a scammer. Says the lady running a gossip forum on magical girls. Yeah, that's right. I was simply gathering information on you all. And truthfully, the more I learned, the more pathetic you all looked. I saw every little success and failure you led your squad into, Starlight. Excuse me? And it's no wonder you all drifted apart. Inevitable with such mediocre leadership. Damn, it hurt. Or it hurts. Uh, yeah. Anyway, so I'm disappointed none of you chose to wear the product tonight. Don't you think that's a little disrespectful after all the work I did? The makeup that devitalizes. Yeah. The makeup that devitalizes us and suppresses our powers? No thanks. You mean this, right here? Raina pulls out the sentimentality concealer. She imbues it with her stardust magic and explodes it in a burst of fireworks. Her magic is back to being as bright as ever. I think my favorite of their powers is Miranda's. I think her power is so cool. The black magic inside the concealer's case escapes in uh, a wisp of smoke that accelerates and rushes straight toward Anna Lee. Not suppressing. To be more specific, it's draining your powers. Anna Lee puts out a hand and the wisp of dark magic is sucked into her fingertips. And all of the energy it takes, magical or otherwise, goes back to yours truly. That must have been how she had so much power to imbue that makeup wine with. Her plan was uh, cyclical. She's built herself up through the makeup. Please, Annalie. I just want to know why. Why use us like this? Why throw our home into chaos? Was it all just for the money? Annalie looks me dead in the eye. She seems to be considering something. Stella, was it? A word of advice. There is no life after magic. Yes, there is. I'm playing it right now. <laughs> what? All we have is our glory days, where we were on the top of the world. We did our best to use magic for the sake of others. Shoving all the physical and mental tolls away in a little box, promising you'll deal with it another day. So it all comes tumbling down. What is she talking about? Who is we? And once that's all over, well, you already know. We fought for a peaceful, happy life as an average citizen, a normal life. But what we get instead is a thankless, futile day job. Nightmares of the trauma we endured on the battlefield. And nobody really understands just how much of your childhood you sacrifice for the betterment of others. As a normal person, you come face to face with monsters that are far, far worse than the ones you fight as a magical girl. Abusive bosses, corporate politicians, or, well, yeah, but um, abusive bosses, corrupt politicians, and all sorts of malcontent who like nothing more than to drag you down. People that will chew you up and spit you out at the first sign of weakness. All you can do is learn how to play their game. Anna Lee. I can't say I don't see your point, but... What about your magical friend? You can start over, I don't agree with you. Top or bottom is what I'm feeling. It ain't too late to put an end to it all, Annalise. Start over. But also, what about your friends? 
the other fruity friends. And I mean that in the gay way and the actual fruit kind of way. Also, I hate the fact of knowing that an avocado is a fruit. That feels wrong. <laughs> um, I feel like if we hit her with the what about your magical friends, she's just gonna be like, they abandoned me. And I'm like, oh, okay, well. Actually, I do want to hit this one. Don't you have any former teammates you can rely on? What about your magical girl group? Annalie looks rattled at this. Excuse me. They're gone. Two of them have moved on completely. Yeah, essentially what I thought. And the other is buried six feet underground. Annalie lets out a bitter sigh. Stop trying to convince me out of this. I'm not slowing down my plans for the likes of you. After your defeat, I'm taking the money and escaping the city. It's funny, I've dedicated half my life to climbing the ranks of this company, but frankly, I don't give a damn if Glamour Pop sinks after this. This loathsome city can burn down too, for all I care. Lee's growls in anger, her home burning down. I won't let it happen again. Anna. <laughs> the game had a moment. Actually, it'd be better off that way. Enough! No matter your reasons, we're here to stop you. As it stands, you're just as despicable as the people you've described. Huh. I never said otherwise. Fine then. If it's a fight... If a fight's what you want, a fight is what you'll get. Ooh, magic. Suddenly, magical energy crackles all around Annalie. The atmosphere tingles with power, amplifying as her powers rise. Woo! A true form of magical transformation! Maho Shoujo! And then, Annalie is not Annalie anymore. No more debate. No more magical girls. Your time is over. Oh no, she's hot! Midnight lady! Oh no, oh no! I'm gay. I'm gay! <laughs> Boo booba! Oh wait, god, we gotta end. Sorry, we gotta end the stream. Um, we gotta end the stream. Finn banned the booba. We can't have the booba on stream. Sorry, the booba's banned. We gotta go. Finn said so earlier, no booba. Booba banned. <laughs> Bring back booba. Booba cannot be banned. Watch in horror as midnight strikes. <laughs> How could you? Ooh. <laughs> as midnight strikes, huh? And your name's Midnight Lady? Hoo hoo hoo. Oh, ooh, she got that little leg out. Oh god, we have health bars and magic bars. Oh, me, oh my. Oh, she's doing the laugh. She's doing the... Oh. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Hey, can we talk this out? What should I say? Ah, damn it. <laughs> it was worth a shot. Minute Lady doesn't care about what you have to say. <laughs> Jackie! Jackie's flustered! I want to try to, like, bring her down non lethally Guard. Ooh, KJ. Guard. Sentinel Soul, Sentinel Perigee. Guard. Sentinel Aurora. Guard. Sentinel Nova. Ooh! 
Even Lee's has some little stuff she can do. Camera flash. Raise Sentinel Starlight's basic attack. Distract the enemy with owl noises, 20% chance. Screech owl. Um, compliments. Use compliments to raise a Sentinel's basic attack. Ah, uh, Screech owl. Lee's uses Screech owl. Oh, did you hear that? There was an actual owl noise. Hoot, hoot. Minute Lady's getting distracted. Minute Lady's turn. Let's see you survive this. Uses Dark Dissension. There's 86 damage to Sentinel Nova! Hold on, let me see. Okay, if Nova got hit with another 86, they could survive it. Talk! <laughs> um... I feel like we could talk her down. <laughs> In some capacity. Hmm. What would work to bring down a hot and sexy evil villain? Oh, hi, baby. I feel like I could go. I feel like I could go down. <laughs> <gasps> what if we? Hold on. What if we? What if we call her by her government name? Avocado Anna. Uh, avocado, yes. Avocado. Nah, 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 nah. What if we govern it, name her? We're like, Avocado Anna, and we just point at her? <laughs> oh! Where did you hear that name? Avocado Angel. Ooh, you, you, you should write she is. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. That's it. I should say more Fruit Fatale members' names to weaken her. Shoot, what were the others' names? Fuck, what were the others' names? Uh, Strawberry Sayori, Banana Brie, Musket... Oh god, what was it? Musket... Musket something, Musket... Oh, my brain is like... I know it's Strawberry Sayori, Banana Brie, and then it's Musket something. Musket... My brain wanted to say Miranda, but then I'm like, no, Miranda's her teammate. We'll have them all guard. I love that she's just gay right now. Guard. 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 Um... I wish she had something to, like, raise our defenses. Distractor! Screech Owl! Throw her off! Just getting distracted. You are a very mean boss lady, and I... don't... like you. It's been a lady's turn. Too stunned by what Starlight Sentinel said. She doesn't do anything. Ooh, okay, that's the move. That's the move. Okay, so. Uh, banana. Is that how you spell banana? I always forget. B A N A N A. It's just two Nas, right? Banana Brie. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. What? Why did you hear that name? You spelled banana. <laughs> uh, that's it. I should say the other fruit for town member's name so we can her. Okay, okay, okay. Guard, 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 guard. Screech owl. Being distracted. It's her turn. She's not going to do anything. Okay, talk. Oh, okay. 
Sayori. Sayori? Sayori, right? Was it with a Y or without an Y? Sayori. Fuck, was it with a Y or without a... Was it with or without a Y? Was it Sayori or say Sayori? Y looks wrong, so I'm gonna leave it without. I'm, I'm not gonna put a Y. And if it doesn't fucking work, we can just try it with the Y. Strawberry, say, or yes. All right, nice, 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 nice. Why did you hear that name? Okay. Over the others, there's only there's just the musket one left. What was her name? Getting distracted. The sentinels are going to rip you apart like a pack of hyenas. Yowza, that was a bit harsh. They will, um... No! Rip me apart like a pack of hyenas! She's not gonna do anything. Fuck. Musket... I know, right? Hi, Ethan. Welcome in. How are you? Hope you're doing good. Welcome into the final battle of the game. <laughs> I say final battle like there was any other battle. <laughs> um, the final confrontation, I guess. Um, what was her name? Musket. Oh god. I'm not good. Still thinking about the ending of Trigon Stampede. How about yourself, Sam? Um, I'm coping with the end of Trigon Stampede by buying a funny little sticker of Bash. <laughs> Until further notice, I am still in pain. <laughs> Musket. I feel like it was something like similar looking to Miranda. <gasps> Marina! Yeah! Okay, I think that's all of them. Please stop. I can't take it anymore. Midnight Lady's giving up! What about that grub? Uh, that grub <laughs> I had and play piano with it? If you know, I'll ship you a weird little snuggie for Christmas. <laughs> it's gonna be so edgy. Thank God you remember because Google wasn't turning anything up. Oh, I appreciate that you were Googling it, Doodle. I just remember thinking it looked close to Miranda. And I was like, racking my brain. I was like, no, that's not it. That's a bad M name. That's a bad M name. That would be the best Christmas present. <laughs> right, Minute Lady is giving up. Woo! Paid attention, use the full, use all fruit fatale names in the final battle. I got cheated for that! Hell yeah! And as the new dawn arrives, so does a new world. <laughs> a new world of not being fucked up makeup zombies. Ooh, yes! I can't wait to start Gurren Logan. Oh yeah, same, that's gonna be so fun. Minute Lady falls to her knees, and with a flash of light, She's back to Anna Lee. We did it! My whole body is brimming with adrenaline from the fight, but I reached my limit. Some of those are gathered around me, looking just as spent. Anna Lee collapses onto the pavement, looking worse for wear. Ew. Insolent. <laughs> that was very. Creative, what you did. Either way, it doesn't matter. You've won. Congratulations. I've expended all the power I've collected through the makeup dealing with you all. Truth be told, this whole plan was a total gamble. I'm not surprised it didn't work out. 
Anna Lee shakily picks herself up from the ground, turning to face us with a smirk. I was never great at energy management, even though it's my power. Maybe that's why I was always such an unremarkable magical girl. Hm. Even still, I'm disappointed. I lost to a bunch of brats. It was a s it was sweet watching you all band together to defeat me, despite your differences. So sweet I could gag. But I admit, it made me a little jealous too. Hm. It's over, Anna Lee. We're turning you in. You make us being destroyed too. Annalie dismisses Annalie dismisses me with a wave of her hand. Oh. The makeup issue is already fixed, if that's what you're worried about. It's no longer imbued with my powers. I used it all in our little tussle. I see. It's really over then. I can't help but fall to the ground in relief. I'm on the same level as Annalie now. Starlight. No. Stella. The Sentinels are a bunch of arrogant, meddling idiots who think they can get away with living normal lives despite having powers. Make no mistake, I despise them. As much as I despise you at this moment. She sweeps her disheveled bangs out of her face and looks away. But they're your idiots. You're damn right they are. So do me a favor, so that this whole nightmare isn't for naught, keep them close. Protect them. Like, I wish I could have protected her. Anna Lee. I promise I will. Anna Lee seems satisfied with this answer and finally lets exhaustion take over. Oh shit! <laughs> she falls to the ground, knocked into a deep sleep. <laughs> That's so gay and sad! That's Strawberry Sayori, isn't it? Out of her hand tumbles a tiny, worn-looking uh, charm. It's a plastic keychain modeled after Strawberry Sayori. From Fruit Fatale. Turned to the Sentinels. <laughs> I ended up making a promise with our bad guy. You dropped this, defeated Anna Lee. Cute! I wonder what would have happened if we had lost that battle. <laughs> You've always been a major softie. Hey, speak for yourself before you call Stella out. You didn't even want to fight her in the first place. I'm proud of us. Although Annalie sure had the last say. <laughs> I'm glad to hear you vow to keep us close, Stella. And cut. What an extraordinary conclusion to the Sentinel Saga. Yep! What? What? Did I miss my close-up? Monster, you can talk again. Our little dude is back in action. Well, it wasn't my fault. It was you that couldn't understand me, Nya. I know how that feels with this lot. Alistair shakes his head in disapproval. Just count yourselves lucky that I stopped Solaire before he blew an entire warehouse full of makeup. Oh, oh yeah. I forgot we sent him off to do that. I guess you did all right without my sage advice, but if you only had heard the genius plan I had come up with days ago. We're all yours now. What was it? Well, it doesn't matter now, does it? Called your bluff. Everyone shares a laugh and gives Alistair a load of pets. After taking a moment to recover, the Sentinels move to take an unconscious Anna Lee downstairs. Hey, she's lighter than she looks. <laughs> really? Surprising. I figured she'd be heavy, considering how full of it she is. Ooh! She played us, beat the crap out of us, and probably ruined our image as sentinels forever. But I was kind of moved by what she said today. In the end... She must have been really lonely. But that doesn't excuse what she did. She could have made a different choice. Stella, are you coming? I nod, but instead of joining them... You good? You good, Stella? I feel something swell in my chest. Woo! Okay, it's a gay. It's a gay. It's a gay feeling. Okay, okay, I got concerned. I was like, don't, don't die. <laughs> don't, don't do something dramatic. 
Suddenly I realize I want nothing more than to share this moment with someone. So I decide to go for it. It's now or never. I call out to KJ. I find them watching the sunrise over the rooftops. I thought I thought they were carrying Anna Lee. Did they just drop her <laughs> for Jackie to carry? Hey, you doing okay? I let out a la a long sigh. <sighs> There's a lot of feelings whizzing around in here. Thought I'd step aside and take in the view. Feeling what? The thrill of victory? Out of breath? I should join Jackie's gym. Oh, sorry. I don't know why I said that as like a question. I should join Jackie's gym. Yeah, it's been a while, hasn't it? I feel like I just passed some kind of test. Finally stood my ground with the rest of the team. Didn't panic, didn't piss my pants. You used to do that? That's not important. I can't believe we were able to defeat Anna Lee non-violently. Even though I asked for it. Honestly, I was being idolistic. Eh. But you made it happen. You've grown so much as a leader, Stella. You could captain the Enterprise. Nah, pretty sure I'm a goofball who got lucky. Without you finding out about the fruit fatales, we'd have no idea how to break down Italy's walls. You still had the bright idea to use it in battle. Dude, I... <laughs> you say bright idea. I say I was joking around by calling her her government name. Younger me would be really proud of older me right now. And between us, it's also making me reevaluate keeping my powers. We helped a lot of people today. I think I forgot about that part of the picture. Oh, that's some hot gossip. Maybe I should tell Ara. Stop it. We aren't at school anymore. I'm trying to have a self fulfillment moment here. Aw, making you blush has become my new favorite pastime. Self fulfillment, huh? How about. Ah, that's so cute! I wrap my arms around their waist and look them square in the eyes. Maybe I kiss you, KJ? Oh, sorry. May I kiss you, KJ? All the cool and rebellious charm in the world can't save KJ from overheating. For a brief moment, a familiar, tender, and sensitive soul trembles in my arms. It's okay if you're not comfortable. KJ rega regains their composure and sweeps me down low. I'm fairly held up by their strong, tattooed arms. That's so cute! Gay, 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 gay. Cat, what are you doing? <laughs> I just looked down and one of my children is being weird. Time stops as we kiss like the world almost ended. Because it did. Almost. I gaze up at that handsome face and place a hand on their cheek. The others are probably watching, you know. I don't care. Nothing can stop this moment, princess. So gay! Same, prince. Oh. What do you think? Nice ring to it. I mean, you could kill in a military uniform. Although I understand if you object to the intersecting politics of monarchy. A monar- 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 kick? That's a weird- weird- power and militarism. Wouldn't Prince imply we're related? No, it could- it could imply that they'd be married. I feel like- yeah, I feel like if like a- Two, if a princess got married to someone, then that uh, someone would become like a prince, right? Um, knight? King? My loyal subject? Way to kill the mood, you goofball. Well, someone had to say something. I think the others would like it if we wrapped this up. But I don't want to. There's always tomorrow. Yeah, I guess such a tonight there really is. Punk princess, cute! Ran away to no time, getting right back to work. I visit her at the workshop a few days after the fight. She seems brighter and more energized than usual. She tells me that she's happy she said goodbye to Sentinel Nova and has reclaimed her magic as her own. It's part of her and her work. Her new pieces gain major popularity for her, their unique stardust glow, and eventually, she makes enough to start her own shop, where she can exclusively create and sell her own designs. She gets her own staff of loyal woodworkers, and I can tell they look up to her immensely. Work keeps her busy, but we find time to catch up every once in a while. 
but things got a, uh, then things got a little quiet. That's so cute, gay, gay, gay. Yeah. Huh? Hello. Years later, I get an invitation at my door to an art gallery event. I decide to go on a whim, and I'm so glad I did. It is filled with one-of-a-kind wood carvings done by Miranda. As the night goes on, a piece would combust into a bright and dazzling display of fireworks. Her magic at work. She was kept busy by fans and reporters most of the night, but I know she saw me. At the end of the night, she brings over a spare champagne bottle and we talk until the gallery owners kick us out. It's so clear to me why the stars picked her as the emissary to their light and power. The night sky is brighter for it. That's so cute! Ara continues her idol career. She goes on to become one of the most successful idols of all time. You can't go anywhere without hearing her songs on the radio, and she even scores a role in a TV drama. Good for her! She's a terrible actress, but Alistair and I watch every new episode together anyways. We don't get to see her very often, but we're happy to see her succeed. It's almost suspicious how well she did for herself, honestly. Then one day she vanishes. What? No one knows where she's gone to. And no one has heard a word from her, even the Sentinels. We all worry about her, and I hope she's okay, wherever she is. What? What? You can't just- You can't just throw that kind of an epilogue in, and then not- Hello? You can't do that at the end of the game! Our glamour pop location is Ash, so Lisa and I both have to look for other work. She starts work at a plant nursery, that's so sweet, while she studies for exams. She gives me a succulent because they're pretty hardy. Don't tell her. I think it died within three days under my care. Whoops. Eventually, Liz goes on to university. She can't decide on a major, classic Liz. So she triple majors. Damn, girl. I visit her on campus for snacks and movie nights. Oh, they're still besties. Which one disappeared? Ara. The little uh, idol pop star that was the one that was like, I sold us all out for a makeup brand that's going to be used uh, to better charity. Damn. Um, but she often falls asleep because of her busy studying schedule. I don't mind. After graduation, she travels the world, helping with conservation causes and protecting ecosystems. I even see her once on TV type. I even saw... Man, she got sick of it. I, I guess. After graduation, she travels the world helping with conservation causes and protecting ecosystems. I even see her once on TV tied. Wouldn't that not be I even saw her once? That's what threw me off. I even saw her once on TV tied up to a tree to stop a bulldozer. We keep in touch and sometimes she brings me treats from her travels. When she's back in Diamond Cove, I like to take her out and reminisce about the old days. We talk a lot about keeping our passions alive, despite the grind of life. I know that no matter how long she goes between us, um, that my friendship with Lise will remain strong. Whenever I hear the hoot of an owl, I think of her. That's so cute! I wonder if this change is according to friendship level. Ooh, that's a good one. I wonder too. Because we were close. Yeah, I didn't hang out with Ara at all. Hmm. Jackie! After the world was saved, Jackie returned back to the uh, to work at the Golden Glove Gym. It wouldn't be long until she began going to school to learn more on how she can improve her coaching techniques. Despite her busy schedule of balancing work and school, she has always made time to reach out to everyone and keep in touch. As for Lila, she never stopped going to the Golden Glove, and I would run into her from time to time whenever I visited. She graduated from high school with a scholarship opportunity thanks to the hard work she was able to put in in both school and boxing. Good for her! From what I've heard, she's well on her way to going pro and Jackie couldn't be happier since she's finally living her dream as second for Lila's matches. Aww. Jackie's uncle is starting to get up there in age and I know his eyes are still pretty bad. He's thinking about retiring and passing the gym off to his niece. Jackie's nervous about assuring 
assuming that responsibility, but I have a feeling that she'll do right by her uncle. Oh. Then KJ. <laughs> it took some time, but I eventually helped KJ patch things up with her dad. Seeing his child in a happy relationship and being more open, and my considerable charm, of course, helps rebuild the bridge between them. That's sweet. And with his assistance and connections, AJ starts their own IT consult uh, consultancy doing something called ethical hacking, which is apparently a thing people can be paid to do. I have no idea. Damn, go for them! You got to pick your romance, right? Or is it set? No, you get to pick. I picked uh, KJ. The little uh, punk one. Oh, it's called Sentinet. That's cute. And KJ says it's it combines their drive to protect people with their uh, specialized skill set. They have a professional looking website, but in reality it's a bunch of tattooed computer nerds in an attic blasting loud music and getting into trouble. <laughs> KJ heaven. I was visiting when someone from the government approached them with a job. KJ got so mad I thought they were going to throw hands with the poor guy. KJ pulls out lot of late nights, but when they come home, they have the biggest smile on their face. I think it's because they love their job, but KJ says it's because they get to come home to me. That's so cute! <laughs> oh, and in case you were wondering, yes, they still have their sentinel ring. It sits very nicely under the engagement ring! <laughs> They're engaged! Oh my god! Thanks for playing! No, oh, thank you for the video game! This was free, by the way. If anyone enjoyed this and wants to play it themselves, please go get it on Steam. It was free! Thanks for playing! Aww. Strawberry Siri keychain. New game plus unlocked and a lease story! Hey, yo! Fiancés! Oh! You can see her now in the back! Hot mama! <laughs> engaged! I'm, I'm so gay right now. I'm so full of gay joy. Oh, that was so good! Gallery credits and links. Gallery? Cute! We're missing one. Interesting. I wonder if that could be from Annalise's story. Oh, cute. Everyone had their own little, uh, their own little CG. Damn. That was so cute. There's a new game plus. Now I'm like, what time is it? Ugh. We're gonna have to come back to this. Most certainly, especially now that now knowing there's a new game plus. Ugh. Also, I was looking at the achievements for this game. Do it for the gay. Absolutely. We're coming back to this game at some point. Um, I was looking at achievements the other day for this, because I was really curious what all like different achievements there could be. And apparently, um one of them that I had saw. Um, this was after uh, I had we had figured out it was Annalie behind us, mind you. I made sure I didn't look at it until we were t at the achievements until we were further into the game. Um, but one of the achievements I saw was apparently you can get Lila, the little girl that Jackie coaches. You can get Lila to join the team. I don't know how, but apparently it's possible. And there is also two special paired endings for the other characters. Um, there is a special paired ending for Miranda and Lees, and a special paired ending for KJ and Ara. I don't know how you get them, but I thought that was very interesting. I'm gonna look up real quick and see if there's a way of... of figuring that out. Hmm. Hey, you beat the game. I know. It was so good. Ugh. I'm curious what happens if I hit start. 
we're not gonna start a new game, but I want to see if there's anything different about the beginning. It does! I love it so much. That's why I'm so happy to come back to this at a later date. Ooh, okay, so the Anna Lee thing is a completely separate, a completely separate entity from the game. That's interesting. I wonder how long that is. Because I'm for a fact, sorry, I step away. Yeah, no problem. Finn, did you see the final battle with Hot Mommy? I hope you did. Or at least a bit of it. I am most definitely coming back to this at a later time to do another route. She was so cool. I love her, like, I loved her design. Damn. Yeah, well, so the short of it is that corporate lady, hot mommy, hot lady, uh, she was a bad guy, of course. Who, who would have figured? Um, and she's an ex-magical girl that we had previously learned about. Um, and she was turned bitter because of what happened in her past and whatnot. And she became this hot lady right here called Midnight Lady. Loved it. I'll watch the VOD tomorrow, though. Yeah, no problem. Of course. Appreciate it. Ah, oh, I love that this is a separate thing. But like I was saying, mother, sorry, mother, sorry, mother, Avocado Abbey. Yeah, Avocado Abbey. <laughs> I, cause I'm curious about doing another route. I really want to do, I really want to try to see about like getting Miranda and Lee's together because I think they would be super cute. Cause they were already kind of like flirting with each other. I really want to do Jackie's route. Cause I really liked Jackie as well. Um, and I'm really curious about the Anna Lee side story. And I want to know, I wonder if you do Jackie's route, if that's how you get Lila to join the team. That's really curious to me. Hmm. Interesting. This game is free, right? That's fucking nuts. I know. It's insane that this was. This costs nothing. I'm not joking you. This is absolutely free on Steam. And I think if I remember correctly, it's their only game so far, from what I could see, and if I'm recalling correctly. I watched so much more from them like this. This was incredible. I am blown away with how cool and well done this was. It's like from the music to the story to like the design of all the characters. It was so cool. It was so like, charming and lovely and just brilliant all around. The only thing it costs is the <laughs> sadness it takes away from you. Exactly. <laughs> Free therapy! <laughs> oh god, that was incredible. I loved this. Ugh. I am so happy that I found this and played it with you guys. It was such a blast. And I am Truly, truly, truly so thrilled to come back to this at a later day. Like, 100% will absolutely come back to this. The next time we come back to this, we will go right into Annalise's story. I don't know how long that's going to be. I don't, it, Who knows? It could be 30 minutes. could be an hour. Who knows? But when we next come back to this, we will do Annalise's story. And then at a later date, we will come back and do another route of this, where I am going to go for Jackie's ending and trying to get Miranda and Lee's together. So, thank you all so much for dropping by, coming in, and hanging out with me. It was so much fun. I appreciate every single one of you. Ethan O'Doodle, Finn, thank you guys so much. I love you guys. It's always a blast to see you guys come around and hang out for whatever we're playing, whatever we're doing. Um, I will be live again Friday and Saturday for a brand new series, which we will be starting, which is Kina Bridge of Spirits. I am super thrilled for that. I am so excited to get into that game because I've been wanting to play it for a hot minute now. It looks so good and it looks right up my alley and I am really looking forward to seeing what the story of that game is and where they go with it. Oh, Kina, yeah, we're gonna play Kina. We're starting Kina this weekend. 
It's gonna be... I'm really liking these later streams when I can manage them. So we're gonna be doing Kina at the what is now the usual time, which is 8 p.m. So come back for that. It's gonna be a wonderful time. I know it. Now that I am excited for it. Yeah! I am too. I literally, it came out and then I didn't really hear anything about it. So like story-wise and stuff like that. So I'm going in completely blind and I wouldn't have it any other way. But yeah, thank you all for stopping by once again. I love you guys. I appreciate it. It's been an absolute blast. I hope you all had fun. I know I sure did. Until we meet our lovely sentinels again, I'm gonna see real quick if anyone else is live from like the stream team that we could possibly raid. Um, da -da 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 -da. Muse live. Okay, we could go uh, throw some love Muse way. I can go live, or you could go live, Finn. Do it, bet. Coward. Go live right now. Play something. Play the murder of Sonic the Hedgehog. Play play something silly, goofy, one-off. Do it, bet. Yeah, do it. Do it, coward. I will. Do it. Go live. Stream Peggle. <laughs> Go live right now. Play something. Play, play a one-off- have a one-off stream tonight of something funny. Something silly, goofy. God damn, I gotta open stuff. <laughs> Do it. Hold on. Where? Wh let me find a threatening emote. What's a, what's a threatening emote? Do I have any? Yes. Mordecai gun. I paid and got refunded 10k for that. It's the perfect chance. <laughs> what did you? Oh, did you try to redeem Peggle for Finn to play? <laughs> and they refunded you immediately, Ethano? That's really funny. I'm so sorry, bud. Come on, Finn. Time's a ticking. Go live, coward. <laughs> What's she gonna play? I did, and they refunded while I wasn't there. I wasn't, wasn't even informed. Go live, coward. Come on. Do it, do it, do it. We're waiting. We're waiting. Come on. Bet. Let's go. Do it. Gun, gun, gun. That's not gun. Gun betrayed me for sure. Oh, absolutely they did. Even though I am so sorry that they did you dirty like that. <laughs> I'm waiting, Finn, with bated breath. I'm... got my silly little phone open, waiting to see you go live. We're all waiting. Where are you? Where are you? <laughs> <laughs> I like that emo, that's cute. Where are you, you coward? Come on, Finn. We're waiting. <laughs> Exo Primal, let's go! No, they're live, they're live! Okay, I love you guys. Please take care, have a great time tonight, today, whatever it is where you are. Um, go eat something, go have a good rest, go have a good drink, if you need it, if you haven't it recently. I love you guys. I will catch you guys next time. Take care, and we are going to raid players, play, players and fan. There we go. Go. We're going to Finn. I love you guys. I'll see you next time. Take care. Goodbye.